Dear students, welcome to the session. In today's session, I will be discussing on eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a square matrix and also a method called Rayleigh's power method to find the dominant eigenvalue of a given matrix. So, let me define eigenvalue and eigenvector of a matrix. Let, let A be a square matrix of order n. Let A be with elements A i j b b an n by n matrix. That means a is a square matrix of order n. Yeah. <coughs> consider, consider the equation, consider the equation Ax is equal to lambda times x. <coughs> Ax is equal to lambda x. So let me call this as equation number 1, where lambda is a scalar which may be real or complex to be determined, where lambda, where lambda is a scalar, is a scalar, a real or complex, real or complex. Scalar. To be determined, to be determined, to be determined, and x and x is a vector to be determined, and x is a vector to be determined. To be determined. Now, for any value of lambda, <coughs> x is equal to 0 is always a solution called the trivial solutions. For e, now, for e, for every lambda, now, for every lambda or for each lambda a solution of one a solution of one is x is equal to zero that is called trivial solution trivial solution trivial Solution or zero solution or zero solution. But a scalar lambda which holds for which one holds for some non zero vector x is called the eigenvalue of the matrix A. A scalar lambda, a scalar lambda such that such that one holds for some for some non zero vector x that is x not equal to zero that means at least one entry is not equal to zero for some non zero vector x is called is called an eigenvalue of A, an eigenvalue value of A, and the vector X is called the eigenvector of A corresponding to this lambda. And this vector X and this vector 
vector x is called an eigenvector of a corresponding to lambda is called now uh, <coughs> and this vector x is called an eigenvector eigenvector of a corresponding to lambda corresponding corresponding to lambda. Now, let us try to find the dominant eigenvalue of a given matrix using Rayleigh's power method. Dominant eigenvalue which means the eigenvalue lambda in absolute value is larger than all the absolute values of the all the other eigenvalues. Okay. So let me consider this Rayleigh's power method. Rayleigh's power method. Power method. This method applies to an n by n matrix A. This method applies applies to an n by n that is square matrix and n by n matrix are a square matrix of order n. A, let us say n by n matrix A, square matrix of order n, square matrix A of order n, with a strictly dominant, with a strictly dominant, with a strictly dominant eigenvalue lambda eigen value lambda which means which means which means that lambda which means that lambda must be larger must be larger in absolute value in absolute value must be larger in absolute value than all the other eigenvalues in absolute value than all the other eigenvalues eigenvalues so let me explain the working method of applying Rayleigh's power method to find larger eigenvalue of a matrix. In this method, in this method, this is an iteration method of finding the dominant eigenvalue or largest eigenvalue of a matrix. So in this method, we start from We start from any non zero vector from any vector, let us say x bar not equal to that is the initial eigen vector. Also, we can refer this to initial eigen vector in order to find the dominant eigen 
corresponding eigen corresponding eigen point so proceeding like this we have time such as the approximations to largest eigen value lambda and we stop the iterations when the two successive approximations are the same are nearly the same with the desired accuracy and obtain the largest eigen value at the corresponding eigen vector proceeding like this proceeding like this we want to we want to successive approximations to lambda successive approximation successive approximation to lambda successive approximations to lambda we stop the process we stop the process process we stop the process when two successive approximations when two successive approximations two successive approximations are the same are the same are nearly the same are nearly the same nearly the same up to the desired accuracy up to the desired accuracy up to the desired accuracy and of time and of time the dominant largest or largest eigen value at the corresponding eigen value of the largest eigen value and the corresponding corresponding and the corresponding eigen Okay, now let me apply this to one of the problem and determine the largest eigen value of the matrix. Problem one: Using power method. Using power method. So by default, power method means Rayleigh's power method. 
By default, power method means right is power method. Power method, find, find the dominant, find the dominant eigenvalue, eigenvalue. And the corresponding and the corresponding corresponding eigenvector eigenvector of the matrix eigenvector. Of the matrix one minus three two one minus three two one minus three two four four minus four 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 minus four six three five six three five. Six, three, five. Perform four iterations. Perform four iterations. Iterations. So, perform only five iterations. No need to compare <coughs> the two successive iterations whether they are there. same or not. Of the desired action. So the solution part. The solution. Let us assume initial eigenvector which is not equal to zero. If the initial eigenvector is given in the problem itself, then we have to start the iterations using the given eigenvector. Otherwise. We can choose a non-zero vector as initial eigenvector. Let x not be zero zero one one zero zero one zero zero. Transpose transpose of x not is column matrix one zero zero <coughs> three by one matrix. B the initial approximation. B the initial approximation. B the initial approximation of the eigenvector of the eigenvector initial approximation. Of the eigen vector vector corresponding to the corresponding corresponding to the dominant eigen value dominant eigen value. Six, 
थ्री फाइव इंटू एक्स ना ट्रांसपोज ऑफ रॉ इस कॉलम वन जीरो जीरो तो ना नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स इस थ्री नंबर ऑफ ऑफ समथिंग सेकंड मैट्रिक्स इस थ्री सो दे मैच सो यू कैन कंप्लीट यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई सो रॉ बाय कॉलम वन इंटू वन प्लस माइनस थ्री इंटू जीरो प्लस टू इंटू जीरो दैट इस वन ऑफ लिंग then second row with second row 4 into 1 plus 4 into 0 minus 1 into 0 is 4 6 into 1 plus 3 into 0 plus 5 into 0 that is uh, 6 1 4 okay. 6 the from here <coughs> you take out the numerically largest value among these three values 146 that so 6 is the largest so let me take out the 6 outside then uh, i am dividing 1 by 6 4 by 6 6 by 6 that is 1 by 6 4 by 6 and 1 so if you calculate up to four decimal places 1 by 6 is 0.1661 Then four by six is zero point six 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 one. Now this you call it as lambda one x one. Now we shall compute a x one, a x one. So this is equal to one minus three two four four minus one six three five times x one. X one is this. This is your x one. This is your lambda one. So x one zero point one six six six. Zero point six 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 one. Again, using multiplication of these two matrices carefully, using calculator, you get zero point one six. That is one into this minus three into this plus two into this. This will give you 0.1668, 0.1668. Then 4 into 0.1666 plus 4 into this minus 1 into this will give you. You can just do it. 2.3328, 2.3328. Then with the last row, this into this. Plus three into this, plus five into this will give you seven point nine 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 two. Seven point nine 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 two. Among these entries, numerically largest value is seven point nine 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 four. So take out seven point nine 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 four. So this is seven point nine nine nine. Four into into so point one six six eight divided by seven point nine 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 four is zero point zero two zero eight zero point zero two zero eight then zero point two nine one six zero point two nine one six one so all this says. Lambda two x two x two. So this is lambda two, and this is your x two. Now we shall compute x three. X three will be 
a x2 so a is 1 minus 3 2 4 4 minus 1 6 3 5 into x2 x2 is this this is diameter this is x2 0.0 208 0 0.2916 angle. So if you multiply carefully this and this column, 1 into this minus 3 into second element here plus 2 into this, you get the first entry. First entry zero point one point one point one four six zero one four six. Then similarly, second row of this column, if you multiply carefully, you get zero point two four nine six two four nine six. Then last row into this will give you. 5.9996 Among these, the numerically largest value is 5.99 So, taking out this 5.9996 and simplify this, you get 0 0.1910 0 0.0416 0 0.0416 then 1 so call this as lambda 3x3 x3 okay. so this is lambda 3 and this is x3. Now compute the fourth iteration x4 with a x3. So this will be 1 minus 3, 2, 4, 4, minus 1, 6, 3, 5 into x3. x3 is this 0. 1, 9, 1, 0, 0, 4, 1, 6, 1. If you multiply these two matrices, this into this, minus 3 into this, plus 2 into 1, this entry, that will give you 2.0. 0, 0, 6, 6, 2, minus 0 0.0696, 0696, 6.2708, 2.7, 0, 8. Okay. The largest among these three entries is 6 point 2, 7, 0, 8. If you take out this 2.0662 divided by 6.2708 will give you 0 0.3294 0 0.3294 then minus 0. 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, then 1. So this is lambda 4, x4. Lambda 4, x4. Okay. So now, 4 iterations are over. After 4 iterations, the dominant eigenvalue of the matrix A is 
6.2708 and this vector x4 is the corresponding eigen vector. Stop there and uh, <coughs> write down the dominant eigenvalue at the corresponding eigenvector. Otherwise, we have to continue. So, let us look at the second example. Then we have to start from 
start our iteration process using this initial eigen vector only we cannot choose any other non zero vector as initial eigen vector so we have to start from this initial eigen vector basically our x zero is nothing but x return like this so work for seven eigen vectors so the restriction here work for seven iterations iterations so this first step we shall compute a with this given initial eigen vector so let me call the given matrix a as 25 1 2 1 
Next iteration, x3, x3 is equal to a times x2. So a is 25, 1, 2, 25, 1, 2, 1, 3, 0, 2, 0, minus 4, into x2, this is your x2, 1, 0 0.0, 4, 4, 4, then 0 0.0, 6, 6, 6. So if you multiply carefully, you get 25.1, Seven seven six seven seven six one point one three three two one point one three three two one point seven three three six three three six the numerically largest value is twenty five point twenty five Point one seven seven six. So you get one <coughs> zero point zero four five zero five zero zero point zero six double eight six double eight. So call this as lambda. 3 x3 lambda 3 x3 okay fourth iteration x4 is a times x3 and this will be 25 1 2 1 3 0 2 0 minus 4 multiplied with x3 this is your x3. x3 is this 1 0 0.04 0 0.06 0 0 0 yeah, yeah. So if you multiply carefully, you get the entries 25.1 
reported by carefree. You get the entries 
you get 25 part after writing this and then taking out the largest <coughs> entry in that column matrix 25 1 get 2 0 into 1 0 point 0 4 5 0 0 point 0 6 8 5 8 5 okay. So 7 iterations are over now. Now after 7 iterations the dominant eigenvalue is 25.1820 the corresponding eigenvector is 1 0 0.0450 0 0.0685 After 7 iterations After 7 iterations After 7 iterations Seven iterations. The dominant eigenvalue. The dominant eigenvalue of A is twenty-five lambda is equal to twenty-five point one eight two zero one eight two zero. And the corresponding and the corresponding corresponding eigenvector eigenvector is one zero point zero four five zero. 0 0.0685 transpose. So with this, I will conclude today's class and I will continue Riley's power method of finding dominant eigenvalue in my next class also.